Now, a lot of you guys are sitting back, or a lot of people are sitting back saying, boy, that's all well and good, but I've got a nice set of punches. These are Greenlees, okay? Basically, these have been around for years. There's different manufacturers that manufacture it. This happens to be the set that I have. This is manufactured by Greenlee. Now, what I'm going to show you guys is how this punch would work, okay? Say you have a punch and you want to do flares, but you really don't want to go out and start buying these over here, okay? These start right now at $95 and they go up as high as $135 a piece. That's based on 2009 prices. Now you say, geez, I got this set and I really don't want to have to go out and buy something else. Midler Brothers also offers this set here, which is basically just the flaring part. So now you can punch using your regular punch or you can flare using your regular flare tool, okay? This is just basically a flare tool. Now, the way we do it is we punch this out. This is a one inch hole, okay? Now, on the edge of the lip right here, there's a little, little, little bitty lip right here. Midler Brothers has a neat little feature by putting this little lip in here. If you don't get this centered, you have one side of the flare that makes it bigger than the other side of the flare. This sits your metal right inside this nice little lip so you have a perfect match every time. Take the dimpling die and screw it right in. Okay, now we got it screwed in. Now, take a wrench and just tighten. Normally, we, when we're working on cars, it's a a little more secure panel, but for the sake of this, we're going to use my body as a vice. Okay, now we've got that all the way in. Now we're going to just back this off. We're going to unscrew this. We're going to take our bolt out and push this push two pieces. There we have the nice punch and flare. Basically, we use this punch here, or oh, sorry, but we use this punch here to do our initial hole, which is a one inch. And in my case, this is the set that I use in my shop. I've had this, and I stepped up to that. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you a beware so you don't go out and do like what I did here, okay? I have another set of these. If you notice on this thing, it says Slug Buster, and it says Knockout Punch Set uh, with Ratcheting Box in. But it says right here, half inch through two inch, and the last word is the part you got to watch out for, conduit. Or it'll say pipe. Half inch conduit is half inch inside diameter. Half inch pipe is half inch inside diameter, same thing. It makes for a bigger hole, okay? You're gonna have a bigger hole than the actual half inch or the actual two inch. What happens is you're gonna have a flare afterwards that looks a little anemic. And what the flare is gonna look like is gonna look like this. Notice how nice and deep this flare is. Notice how shallow this flare is. Also notice it wasn't centered. I got a deeper flare here, and I got a shallower flare there. When you go somewhere as a flea market to a dealer, uh, you find one on the internet, make sure it's a true half inch or true two inch. If it says conduit, pipe, or anything like that, be real careful about it because you're going to end up buying something that you may not have a lot of use for. Okay? Now, the last demo we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And we're going to show you on this machine here, which is uh, Mittler Brothers Press, really a nice machine, very, very nice machine. And on that machine, I have this right here, which is a punch and bead. To my knowledge, Mittler is the only manufacturer that makes this punch and bead, okay? I use it a lot for decorative on motorcycles, 
uh, on hot rods and stuff like that. It makes for some really cool detail work. I've seen guys actually I'd punch these out and they've actually put gauges in here and put lights in there and stuff like that. It really, really makes for a nice effect. The beauty of this machine here, and I'll have our cameraman come up a little bit. The beauty of this machine is that right over here, and I'll have her zoom in right where my finger is, there's a spring-loaded center punch right here. The nice thing about a spring-loaded center punch, now I didn't do it on this, is I could actually take and prick mark, put little center punches all the way down in a row where I want. And now, rather than having to punch holes and locate holes and stuff like that, all I do is I spring this down, drop it on, and I can just keep right on going. Saves a lot of time. Now, when you buy one of these machines, it also comes with the piece that's up here that holds the die, and it also has the bottom pieces that hold this die in also. It has everything that you need to be able to take one of these dies right here and actually mount it into here, so you gain some production out of it. Uh, they also have features on this, and in a later video I'll show it to you, where you can put a louver press in here. They also have a deal in here where you can... Uh, do radius corners. Uh, it's a really, really nice setup, really, really nice machine. Now, if you want more production, they do have a, a hydraulic one that has a hydraulic piston rather than using an arm. Uh, you can run either air over hydraulic or just hydraulic uh, with a pump. Now, one thing I like on these, I always add a little bit of oil, but it really, really saves a lot of time and it saves a lot of effort, especially on heavy, heavier gauge. All you do is you just take this, come right in here. I'll have my cameraman come right in here and watch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And if you notice, we have a very nice punch and bead. Very, very simple. Do it one more time so you see it again. So production wise, with the centering point, bring the hammer handle up. Now the bench I'm using is a portable bench that we use at shows and demos, so it tends to be a little more wobbly if you have it marked on your other bench. We have a lot of repeatability. Nice bead all the way around. This is a time saver. If you're doing a lot of punching, if you're doing a lot of beating, if you want to cut louvers, this is the machine to go. Uh, I thank you much. That's the end of our video. I thank you much. Uh, I am Norm Campo with Performance Metal Shaping. Hope you enjoy our video. We will be doing a couple of other ones. One will be a planishing machine, and the other one will be actually show more tricks we can do with this machine. Thank you very much.